Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'du. Ahabita billah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. An area of great controversy and we will probably detail at some point this issue in depth because someone asked the question about do we get the aqsam al-tawheed from Muhammad ibn al Wahhab? Do we get the uh, the criterion or the categories of tawheed, these three categories of tawheed from Muhammad ibn al Wahhab? The short answer is no, we do not. Uh, but there are many details with regards to this and there's many shubahat and this is not something we can do in a two to three minute video. So just as a very important point that we're just gonna mention here, is min aina yochav yochav etiqat? Where do we get our uh, aqida from? Qal Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah rahmatullahi alayhi rahmatul wasiyah. Sheikh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah he said something uh, very profound and very uh, indicative of the madhab of the Salaf. And he was an Imam of Ahlul Sunnah who helped to codify and helped to revive the itikad of the Salaf al-Salih, which is the itikad from the book in the Sunnah. So he said in regards to this issue, with regards to what is Aqidah, or what is Creed, he said this in the Majmu' uh, Majmu al-Fatawa, the third volume, <coughs> page 203. Laysa al li wa la liman huwa akbar minni. بل الاتقاد يخذ عن الله سبحانه وتعالى ورسوله صلى الله عليه وسلم وما أجمع عليه سلف الأمة يخذ من كتاب الله تعالى ومن أحاديث البخاري ومسلم وغيرهما من الأحاديث المعروفة وما ثبت عن سلف الأمة انتهى شيخ الإسلام ابن تيمية رحمة الله عليه رحمة واسعة he says in his مجموعة فتاوى about the concept of aqidah and creed. He says, لَيْسَ الْإِتِّقَادْ لِي وَلَا لِمَنْ هُوَ أَكْبَرَ مِنِّي He said, اِتِّقَادْ, creed. لَيْسَ الْإِتِّقَادْ لِي Meaning creed is not, it's not from him. It's not from him. وَلَا لِمَنْ هُوَ أَكْبَرَ مِنِّي Nor from the one who is greater than me. Referring back to so many of the Ummah of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam from the Salaf of this Ummah. Bel, Al-Itiqad yukhud anillahi subhanahu wa ta'ala wa rasulihi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Rather, now this is what I want you to understand. This right here I want you to memorize. This I want you to, uh, 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 to keep with you <coughs> and retain. He says, Bel, rather, Itiqad, creed, is taken from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Glorified and exalted be he. Wa rasulihi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Wa ma ajma'u alayhi salaf al-ummah. And what was the consensus of the salaf of this ummah? That's what you need to know. That's your jawab. Keep that with you. Whenever you, now you have a foundation principle. This is a precept of Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. This right here is a precept or a principle, if you will, <clears throat> a sign of Ahlul Sunnati Wal Jama'ah. Memorize that. Memorize this ibadah in English or Arabic, if you will. But we'll just give it to English. Aqidah, creed, is taken from Allah, the exalted and glorified, and his messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the consensus of the salaf of this ummah and he says it is taken from the book of Allah the Almighty and from the ahadith of Bukhari and Muslim and other than them from the authentic hadith and what has been affirmed on the salaf of this ummah Meaning the classical scholars, the, the, the first three generations. Ahabatifillah, <clears throat> this is so important if we just understand this. And even within this ibarah or ibarat, 
in these statements, you'll find different Kawhi and in benefits. For example, <coughs> in the beginning he said, Laysa al itqad li wala li man huwa akbar mini. He said, Itqad creed, it's not from me, nor is it from those who are greater than me. So when people call me a Wahhabi, for example, or call many of the people from Ahlul Sunnah Tibul Jama'ah in this day and age, Wahhabis. No, it's an incorrect was. It's a was ghair al salim. It's a, 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 a descriptor or even an adjective or a description which is not sound. It's not, it's just not true. And as Sheikh Islam say, said, that it, creed is not from him. Those, those uh, criterion, <coughs> those categories of Tawheed, for example, they're not from Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. Although Sheikh Islam Ibn Taymiyyah spoke about them, Sheikh Islam Ibn Al Qayyim spoke about them. Going back to Imam Abu Hanifa, he mentioned Tawheed al Rububiya. And if I and if I, if I have to recall, he mentions in his book Fiqh al Akbar, which is attributed to him, classical early uh, creed book, one of the earliest, he mentions uh, Tawheed al Uluhiya. But I need to make miraj on this, but I actually spent time in my master's thesis about this topic. So Imam Abu Hanifa, so if you want to say something, you can say that Ahlul Sunnah, in that regard, <laughs> although we don't refer our, our creed back to Imam Abu Hanifa, we refer it back to Allah wa Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And that's the most appropriate thing without expounding upon that. He also said that it is taken from Allah the Almighty and His Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That I think is understood. But then he said, وَمَا أَجْمُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَفَ أُمَّةِ And what the salaf of this ummah has consensus on. Meaning that if someone from the time of the salaf, from those first three generations, for example, who was in general from Ahlul Sunnah, but they made a mistake in a masala of creed, or probably a better example, those who came after them, who sometimes in their books of Ittaqad, great Imams of the Sunnah made mistakes in Aqidah even, or had certain leanings in their Aqidah, which went against the Madhab of the Salaf. And no one took them off the Madhab of the Salaf. But they pointed out their mistakes. For example, Ibn Khuzayma in such and such issue. Uh, and then later, you know, Imam an in Ba'd the Masa'in. Imam Ibn Hazm al Askalani in Ba'd the Masa'in. Wa Kathir, Wa Kathir, and there's so many. However, when we talk about the, the, the creed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah and the Minhaj of Ahlul Sunnah, we're talking about, as he said, Wa Ma Ajma'u Alayhi Salaf al Ummah. It's the things that the Salaf had consensus on. Meaning that which goes outside of that consensus, we disregard, disregard as far as it being from the creed of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. So this is very important and this is throughout history. So one of the issues while the door is open is we hear a lot of the Khawarij and the Tekfiris, they want to mention certain people of the Salaf who made khuruj against the leader. But what we have to understand is in a sense that was before the Mas'ala was codified in the Madhab of the Salaf. Meaning some of the Salaf, they made mistakes from their Ijtihad in the issue of Khuruj. Some of them, not, not many, 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 but some, they made mistakes. Rahimahumullah Jami'an. However, we don't follow them in that, in that mistake. And later, they codify that mess, so that's why you find in so many of the books uh, of, of, of Ahl Sunnah Tiwa Jama'ah, I, I mean, I honestly can't think of any that go against that, especially from the early classical text, and somebody who has more knowledge about those issues can maybe point that out. I don't know any book in creed that we consider a book of creed and, and methodology, Minhaj, that has something different than that, about the rulers and going against them. 
and and uh, look look at all those books, those classical books. Shara Sunnah Imam Muzani, Shara Sunnah Li Al Alqai, Shara Sunnah Li Imam Bahari, Babahari, or Asul Al Tikal, Ahl Sunnah Wal Jamaa, Li Imam Li Imam Al Alqai. A Sunnah or Li Raziyain, Kithir. Uh, in, uh, and, and from all the madhabs, from all the madhabs, later books, Aqidata Atahawiya, SubhanAllah, so many. So it showed that the mas'ala became codified in the madhab of the Salaf. And regardless, the nasus are so strong, they don't support at all those who want to rebel against the Muslim authority. So that's just one mas'ala min masail that I'm talking about. The evidence do not show us, when we analyze the text, the classical text, they do not indicate, because the asl is the book and the sunnah, the book and the sunnah are very clear, no khuruj, no khuruj, do not rebel against the Muslim authority. And when it becomes permissible, is also detailed in the sunnah, okay? Those, the wabit, they're there. So we see that no doubt that is an important usul al So this is what we refer to as a precept of the creed of Ahlul Sunnah Tibul Jama'ah. It's so important for us to understand these concepts. I think we'll stop there and I hope that that can bring some light and some benefit about this issue amongst the many issues that we need to learn with regards to our creed and how to deal with Ahl Bid'ah with the Sururiyun and the Qutubiyun and all of these other Takfiri groups and groups that are influenced by Takfir and influenced by Sayyid Qutub and influenced by uh, the Mubtadiya, uh, Faisal Jamaiki, all these other Mubtadiya. Wa'iyadun Billah Minhum, Abu Qatar the Philistini, Abu Muhammad Maqdasi, um, Abu Hamza Misri. These are some in the Western context, some in the West and the East. You know, of course, uh, Abu Muhammad Maqdasi and, 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 and Abu Qatada have had a lot of manzil or, or, or status with a lot of takfiris around the world, especially in the Arab world. So they're held in high esteem. Kulum takfirium. All of them are takfiris. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil, protect us, protect us from the evil of the shayateen from amongst mankind and jinn. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyya Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.